this video, I wanna show you how you can trigger a manual refresh automatically using Power Automate. Specifically, we're gonna look at how you can use Power Automate to trigger a refresh to your Power BI datasets when a file has been created or modified within your SharePoint sites. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's have a look at this demo that I prepared for you today. Here is a Power BI report grocery sales analysis, which gets data from grocery sales folder in SharePoint. So all I've done is I've uh, created the count of the files that it's connecting to, so three. Then we have the three different files that we use. And by the way, it combines all these files into one single table, single query here in the Power BI reports. If you don't know how to do that, I covered it in a separate video. And the data that we're pulling in from all of these sources are combined into this one single table here as a preview. And what I've done, I've already uploaded this into the service. So we have here the, uh, obviously in the web version. And if we look at the lineage view, we have a direct connection between <coughs> our report here in the service to SharePoint. So uh, the SharePoint folder is here and you'll see that we have the files here. That's what it's using for sources. And when we add the new file there, automatically it will be added into our Power BI report. In order to keep this data up to date, what I've done is I've set up a scheduled refresh, which uh, sets a refresh schedule of daily. So it means that every day uh, it will refresh this data. Um, it will pull the data from the Excel sheets to keep it up to date, regardless if anything has changed in that file folder. However, you might find some instances where you want to have more control over the refresh itself. So what does that mean? So it means that instead of your refresh being scheduled on a regular basis, you want your refresh to only happen when a file has been created or modified within your source. And unfortunately within Power BI, it's not currently supported. But this is where Power Automate comes in. It allows you to use that trigger to refresh your dataset in Power BI. So let's have a look at doing that. So here we are in Power Automate and this is where we'll create our flow. So let's hit create here and we'll create an automated cloud flow so with power automate you need to bear in mind two things you need to get the trigger which is what's triggering the action and then the action itself so in our case our trigger needs to be when uh, a new file has been created or modified in our SharePoint folder and then the action is to refresh the data set and you here you'll see that it's already given us some recommendations and what triggers uh, and you can see I think what we need is already here but in case you it doesn't show up you just need to type SharePoint and that will give you the different options. So with SharePoint, you can connect to two different things. You can connect to either a SharePoint list or a SharePoint folder. And what we're looking for is when a file is created or modified. And this uh, is the one that we're looking for, when a file is created or modified in a folder. So we'll select that and hit create. So you'll see here it's created as a flow, the trigger part, and it asks for two things. It asks for the site address, and if you belong to the same uh, site as the actual the, the SharePoint site, it should show up here as the drop-down menu. And then the folder ID, so where is this file located? So if I click this folder, let's browse through the SharePoint site. I know that the folder is within shared documents and annual grocery sales, so this is the folder that we want. So we're saying for anything that's been created or modified in this folder, we want this flow to trigger. So let's add a new step. So this is the action that we want to add. Now again, like the trigger, we just want to type uh, what the, the what we want to use so power bi here is what we want to use and here is the option to refresh a data set in power bi so let's select that it asks for a couple of things so it asks for the workspace where your report belongs to at the moment we have it in my workspace and the data set so we just have the grocery sales there we hit save 
and that's really it so we'll test it together but we'll give it a couple of minutes because sometimes uh, flows can take a while to establish so we'll give it a couple of minutes and then we'll go back and test it out okay so it's been a couple of minutes so let's give it a try now so let's have a look at the flows first and make sure it's active it looks like it's turned on already and what I've done, I've prepared a, another file here, Grocery Sales 2021. And all it has is just some more data, but except uh, it was simulating basically new file coming into this folder. So let's have a look at that folder here and let's upload a new file. Let's see if it works. So let's select Grocery Sales 2021. Let's hit open and that will upload there in our folder and now the moment of truth let's have a look at the flows let's click the flow so it took a while but here we go so here we have the run that just happened if you click here it will show you the execution which i mean we only have two so it triggered when a new file has been added and then it refreshed so it didn't take uh, it took about one second to, re to trigger that uh, if we look at the refresh history of our data set here, so you'll see that it uh, triggered a refresh here. It doesn't tell you what type, and it's a clue that it's uh, triggered um, via Power Automate. And if we now look at the report here, the grocery sales analysis, now you'll see that it includes the fourth file that we added, grocery sales 2021, into our report here in the service. So what I noticed when I first set it up is that it took about 15 to 20 minutes for the Power Automate to trigger um, and refresh the data set. So maybe give it a bit of time after you've created it before you start testing it. So that's all I can give you in terms of tips for or implementing this and that's really it for this video I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start customizing your dataset refreshes using power automate leave a like on this video if it helped you it's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content get in touch using the social media links that are included in the description box below and thank you so much for watching guys see you again on the next one